Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers, very welcome. I'm, I hope that I can inspire you with my channel and uh, give you some ideas to start creating uh, yourself. It's been a little while since I did a craft with me. Uh, I took a, a break and I <laughs> really needed it and now I'm ready uh, to start a new journal again. Uh, I'm going to decorate in the first signature. This will be a guest design team for Kelly Crafts by Kelly. I'm in her Facebook group. I will link all her uh, information in the description box. And uh, initially, because we uh, decided last year I would do a, a guest design team project for her. And I already chose uh, a kit. But then by the end of the year or in the beginning of this year, she came with this uh, teal and gold. Now I'm doubting, but I will link the kit. And I thought, oh, wow, that's completely up my alley. Let's uh, flip through the pages. And this is just one signature. Um, she also has, it's not part of the kit, but she has a separate background pages and I thought they went color wise went so well with this uh, kit that I bought the the bluish one and uh, and the beige one but this uh, is kit page and I always print something different uh, on the back for writing so this is in the I think in the blue kit because in this there were uh, some uh, with the blue gray an Italian page. This is from a different designer, but I thought it went well color-wise because I wanted some lined paper in here. This again is from the beige background kit, and I love that there's all the yeah the receipts and and here restaurant and the beautiful designs. So not just uh, coffee dyed paper. Beautiful uh, flowers, and and the yellow is a bit bit goldish and here more gold. Yeah, I like the combination very much. Again, a background page. Braille paper, I always love that with the flip. Staff paper, I always like that uh, in a journal and you can use it for writing, but you can collage on it. Also, this will be uh, for sale, this journal, and it will have lots of writing space like normal in my journals. A kit page, beautiful with the collaging and then the flowers on it. Again, a background page, music, different background page and the middle. Gorgeous birds. And uh, yeah, the flip sides of everything. The kit page, the staff and the braille. The brown is the same. Here with the beautiful butterflies on there. And yet you can uh, journal on it easily. This I also like the faded and the yeah the collaging in it gorgeous. The script page, the Italian book page, and the background of this one. This also I really like. And here with the beautiful lantern and the script in it. It's very beautiful. And then the back of the first signature also with collaging. So let's dive into it. I made a pile because I always prepare that I know what I want to do where because it takes always takes me a while for uh, deciding what I want to do. Um, let's see, this pocket will be here. I'm not going to bother you with uh, gluing the the lace on the on the sides because yeah that's in a way an easy thing to do and that's not something uh, I will show that in the in the next video I will show where I did the lace this this lace will be on this page so uh, every uh, other or every two pages I will uh, put some lace on there I chose this pocket it's from the ephemera and I thought because it's a, a narrow pocket and you can all write on here if you want. But I thought if I'm going to back it, yeah, I print uh, this was on 
the same page as journal cards. And uh, journal cards, I, I thought, well, I'm going to back it with a background page. So if I want, I can use them as is and don't have to back them uh, even, uh, even more. Or, yeah, back them. And uh, I'm going to glue this shut already, so the pocket will be closed. And that's why this is uh, backed, even though it wasn't necessary. Because if it were on a page with just pockets, I wouldn't have uh, printed on the back, but that doesn't matter. And uh, this is also because there were journal cards. I printed it on the, the thicker paper that is suitable for printing on both sides. So that's why it's uh, more sturdy. And I thought I'm going to back it with blue script. I just printed on a very thin uh, paper. It's um, yeah, very old uh, copy paper when there were holes here. I, I tore them off. There are holes on this, on this side and on this side and that's how it fed through the printer. So I'm going to I'm going to let it stick out a bit so you can see the writing. Yeah, I'm just going to glue it on there because yeah, it doesn't really matter where I want as much script as possible, but where or what that doesn't really it's not really important. So I'm going to glue on these sides. I hope you're all doing well and feeling crafty. I really had to uh, get into it again uh, after my uh, my break and uh, yeah, lots of things were happening in uh, in January also and the, the little journals were okay, the mini journals, because I did that completely off camera and that's different if you're uh, if you're filming your I'm, I'm thinking way more and uh, and I love filming and don't get me wrong because I don't have to do that but uh, yeah I really like it I think a bit like that but um, it's also nice uh, I, I thought it was also nice in in my break time that I could just craft and uh, yeah it felt different. I know there are more creators who feel that way, but because I <laughs> I do like making the videos, yeah, I wanted to uh, to start the series again. Now the difficult part is to get this cut out or torn out. Uh, this is not from the from the kit. I have to say that there's uh, no script in there. Um, this is from uh, Lorna from Taylor Made Journals, but I will link that in the description box also. Because I love using a uh, script and I don't have many, uh, yeah, not at all, uh, uh, letters, vintage letters. And then, yeah, I would uh, not want to cover. <laughs> A, a real vintage letter, I, I wouldn't want to cover up uh, as much as I am doing now, so that's why I like uh, digitals. Normally I don't mind if it sticks out a bit, but with this it looks a bit strange. So I will uh, will be decorating the, I will have three signatures. And I will be decorating uh, it on camera. So if you like, you can uh, can follow along. And now I'm going to. Oh, <laughs> a paintbrush uh, fell. I don't know if you hear that. Could hear that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tear it a bit bigger. And let's see if I. Difficult because this is so sturdy and 
If I tear it the other way around, uh, I get the white edge I don't like. But recently I, I uh, watched a video and she likes the white edges. So yeah, everybody is different uh, that way. Let's put some glue here. Um, ah, it's not sticking well. I like to bro the the foam uh, neck on the bottles to put my uh, my pins in, but this isn't uh, holding up. Just a bit so it stays well. Mm, my towel. Yeah, a bit stressful things keep happening in uh, in my private life, and I'm not uh, very good with stressy situations or situations I yeah don't have a lot of influence on, and but do affect me. So yeah, life, life. Oh, I like that. And this is flimsy, but it doesn't matter if it yeah, curls up a bit or crinkles. At least I don't mind because yeah, that's my style. I'm going to do a bit of inking on there. So if it curls up, am I in camera? Yes. Beautiful things have been made by people I follow. It's also nice, and like I said in a, in a previous video, I, I think <laughs> I'm going to do a, a swap journal with Cara Renee from Be Reborn Art and Healing, and she's already uh, making the journal and filming it, uh, of pieces of it, we agreed on that, and uh, yeah, that, that we both are fine with the fact that uh, we're seeing things that will be in our journal and I'm I was already excited to uh, to have a journal of her and but now seeing already some ephemera made I'm even more excited <laughs> even more excited because yeah I like her style otherwise I would never have wanted a journal and mm, the glue seeps it keeps coming out, but now I'm seeing yeah the ephemera she made, and I'm I'm even more excited. It's so nice. I'm going to, lay it down. I'm going to use my big bottle. It's oh, it was still open. Oh no, I used it on here. Okay. Uh, or do I? No, I'm not going to do that because then my glue line will be too fat. Always have to think what what size I have to... Uh, is it, yeah, it's inked enough. A bit, a bit extra. And you don't have to ink for everybody who is new to my channel, but it's something I like that you definitely uh, not have to. It's uh, we we had some uh, some cold weather and then it was nicer again. Yesterday we had a lot of sunshine in the Netherlands. It's going up and down, but I don't know why. Maybe it's age. But normally I was always warm and <laughs> now I'm uh, inside. I'm cold. And I'm sleeping uh, under a winter uh, cover, and I never had that. We always sleep with the window open, we still do. But uh, for me it's too cold, so I have blankets and, and now the winter uh, cover. <laughs> I'm not used to that, it's not, uh, not my usual, uh, but maybe Coming with uh, a bit more age, 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, it, this always happens that it's not that it matters if you fold it like that because sometimes that's nice, but I, it was straight because but because this is a very thin page. So <clears throat> and yeah, you get all kinds of folds because it shifts. If that makes sense. And now let's take something. You can put some writing here, and you can put some. Oh, oh! I didn't check that. It has to stay open. It's a nice big pocket. And first, I always uh, do the the laces and the top tucks, the pockets, and then later I uh, decide what I want to put where. Yeah, it's free. Okay, next step is this thin page. And now I forgot her name, but a video, I saw a video, and I recently discovered some new channel, so I have no clue where I saw it, but she reinforced uh, with tea bag, and I really like that. This is yeah. It, this is not used tea bag, but I like the the texture. Oh, this is oh, that's strange. Oh, this is double. This bag is still. Uh, I have new tea bags for loose tea. Oh. No, there's yeah. They're the that white because uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So I crinkled them up and made them wet, but uh, I have to put them in some tea uh, for some extra. But she, uh, you can reinforce it here, but also on the edge, because the edges are fragile also. But I also... Oh, I didn't... Um, I thought I put a piece ready. Yeah, this is uh, empty, but I can also use uh, tissue paper. Hmm. No, I'm going to use the tea bag. It's uh, I don't want it to stand out too much. So put that back in here. No, I'm not going to do that. No, that will. Let's see if it tears and. Uh, a couple of years ago, I think. Ah, but this tears strangely also. I bought tea bag paper. I thought then it's easier to uh, to yeah use bigger pieces because the tea bag is just the size of the tea bag. And uh, but yeah, like this also, it uh, really tears difficult. And the paper did that also. But I thought maybe it's because that's paper. <laughs> no idea. Now I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to put it in the middle first, and then I'll I can always adjust. But I've noticed that um, um, more people that I normally follow, uh, yeah, took a little break, and I, I think it's uh, it's good to uh, to take some uh, some time off, reevaluate maybe, or uh, just rest up, because um, the taking. Uh, the care of my father is uh, yeah, pretty stressful. It's uh, not an easy man. And uh, it's taking a lot of my sister and, uh, and me. I don't know if I said it uh, on my video uh, before. I don't know. Uh, our uh, connection or bond with our dad or yeah my parents both uh, wasn't great 
but my mom uh, passed away a couple of years ago and uh, my father has left. And yeah, he always was a difficult man and uh, now taking extra care of him uh, because the, he's not in a care home uh, yet. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I think I'm going to leave this. I like it. Yeah, it's completely something different. I'm going to put something in between because I want to work on... The, so I don't get anything on the... These are too small. This one I can use. Like that. And here. I want to, uh, it's from uh, from a shirt, so that's why the seam is there, but yeah, I, I didn't think it would be a, a problem. So I want to glue it like a, yeah, kind of a pocket, tuck spot, the way you want to uh, call it. And I want to let this stick out and here, I want to let this get some sticking out. So I think I'll first, <coughs> Put glue here, fabric glue. Um, I'm going to use this so I have a fine, uh, fine line. This is the art glitter glue, and maybe I'm going to glue it there a bit because uh, it doesn't have to hold something very big, but. It's just some extra decoration for the for the page and uh, also that you can uh, still see um, the book page. Like that. And maybe I'll have to put them under books because I want to stretch it a bit so it's uh, a bit more taut. I don't know, uh, I don't know <laughs> exactly how you call it, but um, that it's not too uh, too floppy. But it is anyway. I'm going to put some glue here. So it makes the this is rag paper. It makes it uh, uh, very wet. So I think I'll have to uh, keep it out. I like it that it shows the can of the the page in uh, underneath, and yet you can still put something in there. Yeah, I'm going to leave this. It's a shorter page, so it won't, uh, yeah, it won't come out too much. Yeah, I have to leave this because everything's sticky. And maybe if this, if the glue is still showing, I'm going to put something on there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it and let it dry. And we'll see later. Um, she has no. I'm not going to. She has some washi strips. Let's see if I can. Yeah. <coughs> In the kit. Yeah, these were also on a on a larger sheet, so they have backing. Um, and my intention was to put uh, something here. But I want something that stands out more, so I'm uh, I'm going to skip that page because I want to uh, see if there are other pieces in the kit. I always try to use as much of the kit as possible, and uh, and yeah, I want to see if there is something more bright or that I'm going to do something different to it. Um, let's see, um, <laughs> I made a list what I want to do where, 
Otherwise, yeah, this one. Otherwise, I completely forget what I want to do. Uh, let's see. But here, yeah, I'm Now I'm doubting already. Here there's the small one. I didn't write down where I wanted the lace, but this lace will be here. Then I want some knot, but here will be a top tuck. Yeah. Oh, this. Uh, is a journal card, but I think this is like the journal card that's put back also. But I'm going to use it as a top top because I think the flowers will be okay like this. And then I want that on there for some extra interest and I will uh, put some bling bling on there. This I want to make a bit more not so straightish. But it's more difficult because the paper I print on is uh, 140 GSM uh, for printing on the back also. So I'm going to put the lace there first. I didn't want to put the lace on here because um, yeah, I always like the image isn't in exactly in the middle. But if I do this, it yeah, I don't know. So I thought I'm going to glue it like that and then here so I have to glue this on there on camera because otherwise I can't continue that's going to be the glue and my um, my grandson uh, he's six and he's taking swimming lessons and uh, he has to swim uh, with clothes on for the first time so I'm anxious to hear how that uh, how that went put some more yeah I have to make it a bit wider because I don't want to have too much sticking out. Just these uh, the scallops. And he's, uh, he's doing very well. I don't know exactly when he started last year. And, uh, yeah. And it's important. Uh, I, uh, yeah. We think it's important uh, that he can swim. Nope. Let's pull it a bit because I want to see. Oh. If on the other side it looked like I had the, the holes completely uh, free, but that wasn't the case. Here I can see the difference now from the thicker paper because normally I would uh, would always see a bit where the glue uh, was, but when it's completely dry, it's okay. Um, this will be a tuck spot, but because the page is very wide, there's room enough so I can uh, glue it on three sides because sometimes um, I make hinges here. Uh, for yeah, to, to give me some extra room, and I'm just going under the, the pieces that are curled up, otherwise, they flatten uh, again. I didn't have to use the let's see that I didn't get my head in the way. And I wanted to see a bit of the, because this is 
you can see it, yeah, with the decal edge. I uh, cut all the pages with the decal edge. Like that. And now you can see a bit of the decal edge uh, on the top. Like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit hard, harder to uh, to curl it up. Beautiful. And later I will uh, with my hands feel a bit with glue. But uh, yeah, with thin, thinner paper, it's more easy to. Uh, um, do I have something bigger? Not really, but it's uh, really wide to, uh, to stick something in. Did I have to pull it a bit? I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, this has to really adhere. And let's see, it's wide, more than wide enough uh, to put something in there. And um, now I have to put some plastic in here because I'm going to put the flowers on there. And so a thin line of glue. And the, the smaller extra embellishments I usually do later. It's a mess on my desk. Let's see. I always want this a bit even. Let's do it like that. And here it doesn't matter. This I will have to uh, to cut because that will interfere with the full line. Yeah, I really like this. And maybe I'll do some extra there or a little label, but I'll come to that later. It's not if you sometimes if you have to cut such a little piece, it uh, yes, love it. Then on the Braille side <clears throat> on this flap, I want to some, uh, yeah, a bit of collaging, but this was in the digital page also. And I thought I can really use it for this piece, and uh, I'm going to put something on top of that. So let's glue this down, put those a bit to the side. Put some glue on here. I already uh, inked it and uh, tore it to size. It's also nice, I did that uh, in, in other journals, but I, yeah, I don't didn't want to repeat myself again, but I will use that. All kinds of little pieces of yeah, digital or lace or yeah, whatever paper you're using in your journal. It looks very nice on a small strip like this to put all the little pieces collaged on top or uh, next to each other. To, sorry for the reach, because I want to see if I want to use some some extra die cut flour. And this is again also a little piece from the collage, one of the collage sheets. This stamp was next to this on the on the page, so I thought I'm going to use it. I could have used. Um, um, a real stamp. Who knows, maybe I will. I can change my mind. <laughs> it won't be the first time. Let's 
No. Let's see that it doesn't stick out too much because the back side is white. Let's see if I like it because um, yeah, I know it's part of the kit. But but I also have real stamps. It doesn't. Uh, it's. <clears throat> it can't be too big. It's not the blue. Let's see. I do like that. I always like uh, real, uh, real stamps. Let's put that away and let's see if I. I always like these craft color flowers. It doesn't have to be uh, a big one. <coughs> I just cut out uh, all the, the shapes I have and then uh, yeah, that's too wide. But maybe this one. I use this one a lot, but hmm. it's in small also, so I don't know if I have that. No, not at this time. Do I? Oh no, this. Oh, yeah, this happens a lot that they uh, cling to each other, you know. Hmm. Uh, this one I think I meant because I can use just a little piece. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I thought I would really like that, but now I'm doubting it a bit. I'll come back to it. And then, because if I do something like this, I can also put the stamp like that. Yeah, I have to think about, I will let you know in the next video what I decided, or if I do it off camera, you will see it in the in the beginning. Uh, you you would will have seen it uh, in the pictures. Yeah, I'm going to leave that because I think I'll like it better here. But I want something there. Otherwise, it will be a label extra with the stamp, something like that. We'll come back to that. Sometimes it's better. Uh, not to force anything, but just yeah, think about it and come back to it. Here I did this with the with the punch because I really like that effect. Let's see what is next. This is just going to be clipped. Where did I want that? Mm. It's very hard to, the collaging I did, yeah, the coin envelope will be clipped on here. Um, and this is in the kit also, little, um, little labels. And this one is in there also, and because the bird has the lilac, I thought this would be nice. And Probably I will uh, decorate it even more, but I don't uh, don't want to think about it too much, and uh, on camera. <laughs> uh, see that looks great. Ah, I can uh, do it shot. Because I want it close. Sometimes I like it that they are uh, open. But this one I, I just want to uh, put something in there later. Put some glue on there. Do I like it better? Ah, yeah, I'm going to put that on top. I don't know why I folded it like that. Spread it a bit. Close it. 
and maybe I'll, I'll put something here. I've um, cut out like this, for example. This is also a piece in the kit and I just cut it out and she has more um, yeah, text, you can call it, uh, in the pages. And uh, I'm gathering all of them, cutting them out of the, the digitals, digitally, <laughs> and put them in a Word uh, file. Beautiful designs. Look at the detail in here. It's gorgeous. All of those, yeah. But something, I, I want something there. But there are also uh, circles. So I'm going to add something to that. So this will go on this side. This will go on this page. Oh, am I in frame? Not really. And on this side, I want to make a pocket. I have to fold it like that so I know where the end is. Oh, I'm losing. The... Didn't put the pin back. Now it flaps open. Here I want to make a pocket, and I'm going to use this Italian book page. Um, I want the text completely. I don't want that little white. And how high do I want it? A bit more, I think. And I don't mind if it's not completely straight. But I really like the Italian book pages. Um, sometimes I do it like this, so I put my scissors and then I just yeah <laughs> tear it a bit uh, to the right. Like that, but it has to. I want it to be like this. So I still have some white. I see, but okay. okay. No, that's too small. I'm going to ink it so it's a bit, a bit too white even. Because I rather stay a bit away from that side than uh, have to cover it completely up. And here I'm going to glue it just like the pocket and I like that you even can see a bit of the green underneath. Is this sturdy enough? I think it will be. Let's test it. I always do it like this and if it's okay because again this can curl, it doesn't really matter. So let's end this up a bit and give it a bit more dimension. <clears throat> this idea of the pocket I saw from uh, Raindrop Lila, Lydia. She is, yeah, for me, she's so amazing uh, with layering and, um, yeah, the way she tears and curls up the pages. Yeah, it's, for me, it's awesome. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, I hope it uh, it always looks a bit like she does because I like that style. Okay, that's the idea. And then this is again a piece just of of a page and. Uh, yeah, that I can use. I don't know if I have a page at hand that has more... <clears throat> yeah, like this. I can use that piece or that piece. I just cut it out. Yeah, this is completely usable, uh, that side for... Uh, oh, I'm not in frame. I said uh, this you can use. So I... Yeah. It cut out that of the of the digital page and just print that if I want that. This is completely usable. So I'm always yeah looking a different way. This also, but I also 
uh, have this label separately. So I just uh, adjust the, the digitals the way I like them and yeah, that's why I mostly have uh, more work uh, before I can make ephemera or I'm not, not constantly tearing into uh, large pages because then I have so much left uh, what I don't know what to do with because mostly in a new journal I use a new kit so yeah and I don't have uh, much scraps so that's that's the advantage yeah I'm going to glue that I want to layer it a bit I think this will be okay because it's in the way there Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. My life is always uh, very quiet. So, except, except for the, <laughs> the stressy parts sometimes. Ah, my uh, son is uh, has his birthday uh, today and he uh, tur turned 31. So they had uh, plans for today and tomorrow. It's it's Friday uh, here. I got glue on there. Ah! That happens so much with these darker colors. Um... Yep, I have to throw it away. I can't help myself. Oh, this is smaller. Where is the bigger one? I thought uh, about using this background because in the page she's in that background, but um, I decided against it because I like this better because this stands out a bit more, the blue and the, and the brown. This is a bit more pale and I want it a bit more extra. So yeah, my, my son, uh, his birthday is today and um, uh, we, will, um, we plan on going there on Sunday because they always, on the day that they are, uh, him and uh, my daughter-in-law, they always plan something special uh, for their birthdays on, this, on that day. And they go, mostly go out to dinner in the evening. And, uh, but when I congratulated him, oh, this morning he said, oh, I'm very sick, so nothing for today. I have my scraps lying everywhere, so I really have to tidy up later. And tomorrow they had plans and they canceled that also because uh, my daughter-in-law was sick for a couple of days but was pretty okay uh, today so uh, we uh, we are keeping uh, it on uh, sunday for uh, pastry and catching up but yeah we have to see if uh, if my son will be uh, well enough because I know if you're really sick you don't feel like uh, company or talking or anything like that so now second chance and I think it was just glue on my fingers that but it happened so much oh it really annoys me because I <laughs> I always print everything so many times just because of that reason. Um, I know this is clean. Yeah, and then I want this 
on there and I can adjust that because I don't really like that piece. Maybe I want I really want to see the blue. But no, I don't like this that it's that angle. I don't like that. So I think that's that way that I get the white. So I'm going to do it like that. Let's see. And that will be on the pockets. And this is going to be a very long video again. Mm. Yeah. And that's going to stick out on the on the pocket. Yes, we really like that. This I want a bit more like that. Okay, let's see where I need to put glue because I don't want it to um, just a bit here. That it sticks and then I can adjust it a bit more. Shifting this can curl up and that also. I always want to see the white from the background, but you can't always um, print everything double sided. Yeah, let's glue it to and put it on here. Let's see if it's, yeah, it's a complete page, just I can't go too far down. It can stick a bit out, but not too much. About the image. Again, it doesn't have to stick completely because it's not going anywhere. I think I have too much glue on top. Want it a bit in an angle. Maybe something there. I want to uh, to try if I can, uh, but I don't know if I have enough embroidery thread or something to uh, to sew things with, but. Uh, I want to use it a bit uh, hand stitching. And I think that would be nice here or here. Just a few stitches. But then I have to wait uh, to glue the pocket on to do that. Oh, I really like this. Yeah, it blends in very well. And this will be opposite. Now this looks very white to me, but let's see if I, because I uh, I debated more brown uh, and then I didn't like that either because there were two brown. It was in there. Oh no, I'm doubting again. I'm going to leave this pocket, but you get the idea. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really, I'm really strange like that. Um, I have no clue where I am on my, on my thing, thingy. This is the middle. The bird image, the blue, here will be the bird image. Let's see, and then I'm going to 
let you go because now did I want that? Uh, the image, the image. This I have to back because it's not sturdy enough. Um, this is pretty sturdy book page. And I'm just going to glue it on there because I don't want it sticking out. It doesn't have much more value if there's something sticking out or it has to be music page. That could be a nice option. Let's see if I have a piece. I also have my music books ready. Um, yeah, in a way it has to be smaller. Just those lines I don't like. I want to see notes. Um, let's see. Oop, in my old music book like this. Uh, it's smaller, then you can see more notes. And the index and the first page that is loose already. Yep, I'm going to put the glue on here and I'm going to stick it down. I put some texture paste on there, I really like that. And this will be a nice top tuck. Maybe add a stamp. I'm trying to use my stamps more because it, I, in a way it's a, it's a great addition. No, I like more. Normally I like those, yeah, in, in Dutch we call them keys. <laughs> but, um, now I think it's more nice if I can see notes. If you can, if you call it like that, I have no idea. That's okay. Let's see if it wants to tear a bit. I don't want it too big, just a bit. Yeah, it's very sturdy paper, and I'm going to tear it like this here, um, because that's a, a very nice piece to uh, to use again. Yeah. Ah, I'm cutting it all straight again, but it wasn't necessary. I could have torn it. I'm always doing it with my ruler and um, let's do it. and then it's it's also straight again. <laughs> I want to be uh, a bit more loosey, loosey goosey, and it's very difficult for me because it's music page. It doesn't matter if it sticks out on the, on the sides and on the top. <clears throat> Let's see that I have it the right way up. Um, put this underneath. No. I don't know where my. I have more glue sheets, but I can't find it. That uh, the right side. Using the big bottle, but I want a little a final line. See, I almost did it wrong. My my. So I hope you're all going to have a great weekend, hopefully with lots of crafting.
I will be doing uh, crafting because my husband uh, has to work tomorrow, Saturday, and uh, so I can uh, be in the craft room. I do I still don't know how I can uh, do that the best because now there's glue there, but I need something, I don't want it all on my mat. So I'm always struggling with the best way to, yeah, where do I put what and... Stick up a bit. Put that to the side and we call it quits for today. I have to see how I want this uh, some sticking up, some bending down. And here again. And I think I'll, uh, I'll want something here, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Let's have a quick recap. And then we can start about start the <laughs> the weekend. Put my needle in here before it oozes out even more. Ooh, little hole. Things away. So here will be lace. Here we made the pocket and it's a side tuck. Really love that. Here will be something. Uh, here is the lace, the top tuck, and it like this it blends into the page. So it would be okay if this was a page you could write here, but you can stick something in there. Uh, this is wrong. The flip, I will add to it. The coin pockets that will be decorated a bit more. This will be on this side. Oh, everything takes so much time. I have to think about if I like this, because here it is white, so but if I don't like it better, if the, the paper is a bit more brown. Now it really stands out the white. And we did this top tuck. Lots of writing room if you want to write on there. And then we'll continue in the next episode with the second half. It's been a very long video. If you stayed until the end, I'm very, very grateful that you did. I hope you got some inspiration. Otherwise, maybe you just uh, were hanging out with me. I love that also. I wish you a very nice weekend if it uploads very quickly. Otherwise, a very upcoming week. Very nice uh, week upcoming. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.